Hey everyone, this is Jams, back with some more Dragon Warrior. In the last video, we got the Erdrick Sword. So now we are all well prepared to go and kick some Dragon Lord tail, if you follow what I'm saying. And just as a record, just for the record, off screen, I grinded from level 17 to level 20. So, we should be well prepared to go and kick his ass. I have a repel spell on right now. And we're in front of Charlock Castle, and we're gonna go and find him. If we can find him. He shouldn't be too difficult at this point. But I am going to make the uh, final boss fight a separate video. Just for the sake of people that don't really want to see me get to him. I would much rather just skip to the fight. But if you're going to be watching this, you're probably going to be wondering how to get to him, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, also, just one thing, since you're wearing Erdrick's armor, uh, these things that would normally hurt you actually heal you now, and the best place to grind in the whole damn dungeon is right here in this area of the throne. You just move back and forth to recover your HP. Like I just demonstrated, and yeah, it should be able to restore you for the most part as long as you don't get into too many fights. But it's just something there. You can grind any way you want to, that's just how I did it. But yeah, you're going to want to cast Radiant to find your way around. Incidentally, how am I doing as far as herbs? I've got five, that should be good. Okay. So you go down here. It's basically just the same route that we took to get the sword, only with a few minor adjustments. Yeah, not so tough now, are ya? Huh, are ya, you little... Sorry. Those werewolves annoyed me. Not as much as these wizards, though, because the fucking hurt more spell still hurts like hell. But at this point, I don't even care. Down the stairs, cast Repel again. Yep, yep. Now, let's see if this was worth the trouble. 33 damage. He still hit like a truck, but I hit even harder. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that lag, though. Okay, we better heal. E. Maybe it's not such a good idea. Oh, who am I kidding? Level 20 is the traditional level cap in D&D. &D. If I can't beat him at level 20, I don't know if I can beat him. Uh-oh, the Radiant spell's wearing off. Better watch out for that. Try not to get into too many fights. You gotta conserve your MP for casting Radiant as well as for that final boss. So run when appropriate. Whoops. Hope I'm going the right way. Probably not at this point. Damn it! Die. Nope, I'm here. I'm not gonna fight you again. Cast Radiant. 
Now, you don't want to take that stair because it just loops repeatedly. You're going to want to take this one on the left. Leave me alone. As you can tell, the music's becoming more and more distorted the closer we're getting to the Dragon Lord. Now we just go through here. And there he is. There's the Dragon Lord. The spell has lost its effect. Oh dear. There shouldn't be too many monsters at the... Never mind. Forget I said anything. Damn you! Right, just for that, you lost your spellcasting privileges. Or not. Whoops, went the wrong way. We'll go up here. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh my gosh. Well, I just wasted a fucking spell. Oh my god, just die. Die. Are you serious right now? Wasting my goddamn time. Sheesh. Bye bye. All right. Go. Go. God. No, I don't want to fight. Don't want to fight. Don't want to fight. God, they're annoying. Alright, we made it to the Dragon Lord. Now, I'm not about to talk to him. First, I'm going to use my herbs to heal up. Try to conserve as much MP as I can for the fight. Okay, now... In the next video, the epic struggle between good and evil reaches its final climax as Jams, the hero of light, fights the Dragon Lord, who will be victorious. Find out in the next video. Thanks for watching.